This statistics question is asking about the mean, the average. Uh, hopefully you can make that connection that this is just another way of talking about average. And that is something that hopefully you know how to solve for, right? You know the formula for average is the, uh, let's kind of squeeze it in here, the sum of the numbers uh, over the number of numbers in a set. And that's complicated in this case because we have a frequency chart, we have uh, two different sets of va uh, values, um, but we don't even need to use this formula at all. A lot of times when we have these kind of comparative questions, we're supposed to just think about it, notice some pattern, and without having to do the actual math, we can come to a very solid conclusion about what's going to happen. In this case, the answer choices are really just asking which one has the greater uh, mean, right? Is it is A greater? Is A less? Are they equal? Or in this case, there's not enough information to compare the means. That's just not going to be right. We have everything we need. We have all the values. There's For set A, there's 230s, 434s, 538s. So it, the frequency chart is giving us the list of numbers. It's, it's compressing it a bit. But we do need to know that that is given here. We do have the ability to calculate the mean if we wanted to. But we can look at the difference between A and B to take a little bit of a shortcut. Notice where the frequency numbers lie. For set A, the high frequency values, the 7 and the 9, go with the high value numbers, the 42 and the 46. Whereas in the other sets, at B, the high frequency values are the low values, 30 and 34. So basically, each of these data sets is skewed. Set A has a lot of big numbers, and set B has a lot of small numbers. Now, looking at the frequencies, they actually have the same total. They say that. They each consist of 27 values. So the number on the bottom of our um, uh, equation would be the same. The problem is the number on the top would change. So the sum for set A is gonna be higher because you have more big numbers, and so the sum is higher than the average is higher. So that means choice A is gonna be our answer. The mean of set A is greater than the mean of set B. It has to do with where the, the distribution of these values is. So it definitely matters that it's a frequency chart and you should get comfortable reading those because that's how the SAT presents most of its statistical information is as a frequency chart or something similar like a histogram or a dot plot. These are all basically ways of, of kind of compressing the set from what you learned in school when you first learned statistics, you kind of had the full list written out. The SAT is very rarely going to give us that. So get used to this. It's going to keep coming up. But also, you can be confident that in a lot of cases, you won't have to actually calculate all these values. You can kind of just look at it, compare them, and make a quick judgment based on the distribution. So that's a benefit of the frequency charts.